But we're gonna be walking up this hill. See you at the top. So today I wanted to talk about camera gear. Alright, so there's kind of three things. There's your video, your audio, and then your lighting. And that's where I had to stop that video. So like I was trying to say in that video, I needed to upgrade my camera to get a, a better microphone. Because the built-in microphone does not do a good job outside. There's a lot of wind and noise and it just makes it impossible to use. What I wanted to talk about in this video is actually my one month of doing YouTube and how it's gone so far and mostly about the kind of gear I'm using. And right now I'm using this microphone which is like, this is like a knockoff of a Shure SM58. I'm using this camera which is a Lumix G7 Panasonic. You can see it right there. And it has this LCD flip screen so I can see myself when I'm recording, which is actually super important. At the start, I knew nothing. Nothing about video editing, nothing about cameras, DSLRs. The only thing I really knew about was audio. And audio is probably the most important aspect of any video because you can get away with kind of crappy footage, but people like to hear what's going on. I mean, if you think about the Joe Rogan podcast, for example, he has like really good mics they have a nice bassy sound and you don't really have to watch the video to enjoy it so you're going to want to get a microphone that doesn't have any wind noise like my camera does and had to cut out all of this footage you're going to want to get like a road mic or some equivalent for the camera or you can get like a clip-on microphone for like 30 euro you're also going to need good lighting at the moment i don't i'm just using window lighting because lighting is expensive and everything is locked down so i can't go out and buy leds I do have this thing to kind of add a little bit of brightness. It's just like a small LED strip. And all these little things, they make a big difference to uh, the video. So this is all the gear I've managed to accumulate in just one month. But I don't think all of it is necessary. You can get away with just a webcam, to be honest. Uh, like I, if you see my first videos, that's all I'm using. I think the most important thing I've realized is just to start and to just dive into it because, I mean, you can dwell on all the gear and it's something I've done. It's just like, oh, I'm going to need this. And then to do this shot, I'm going to need this, this and the other thing. But then I saw like, for example, Selena Gomez posted a music video shot with an iPhone. I mean, and it has millions of views and loads of people listen to it. The quality is actually pretty good. Now, of course, it's like a new iPhone and they're, yeah, they're expensive in themselves. But the point still stands that like, you can do a lot but very little. It's just about kind of determination, really. So with this new camera, the most important thing I discovered with setting it up is like you need stabilization. Like <laughs> I was shooting footage and all of it was useless because I didn't have a tripod. So I invested in a tripod, this thing. Past Shane, who was trying to walk up that mountain with all that wind, will show you just how useful that is. So you can see it here. It's a Lumex G7 and I have this uh, Gorilla tripod which is really good because it grips you can grip onto anything it's nice and small it's pretty cheap good for starting so that's all i really want to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed it was only really to kind of show you what i've been using and how in one month i could quickly get started and doing this and how much i've learned in just such a short period of time thanks for watching and see you next time i came up that path and i came here for this view